Okay, so we have got a bit of a bug fix or a bit bug work around until they actually get this fixed because this is doing my absolute nutting. If you guys have watched my previous video, if not, I really recommend you go and watch it now and then come back to this video. But if you have watched it, then you will know that there is a progression issue on console, at least on PS5, where there is a problem you not being able to continue through your mission. Your yellow icon will show you the direction you need to go and sometimes you get to it and it just stops. Well, I've got to a point in the game now where every single time I get to the next yellow icon, it doesn't let me surpass that and continue on the mission. So I got a little bit fed up with it and actually there is a very easy workaround and it is exactly what you would expect it to be. What's going on guys, my name is Clown Plays, and welcome back to another video here in Dying Light 2 and I am having a nightmare. Although the game is extremely immersive and so much fun, there are so many issues in here that it's just brick walling me every two minutes. So at the moment I'm having problems progressing through the missions and there is a very easy fix for it, although you are going to get a little bit peed off with it, but it's a short workaround in time for while they are getting it rectified. Well, to be fair, you can't progress through the yellow markers and you have to actually restart your game every single time. Now what I do mean by this is that you, each time you hit a yellow marker, you do hit a checkpoint. So it doesn't cause so much of an issue that you have to continuously repeat the same parts of the mission and especially when it gets to the dialogue options, if it doesn't let you progress after that point, then you just have to pick a different dialogue option. The only thing that this does do is it forces you guys to play the game in a style that you don't particularly want to do. With the dialogue options, it does sort of decide who you ally with and who you become enemies with, and it, it decides the future of your gameplay. And this is a very, very crucial part of the game. And I, I think that this, for me, is probably the most problematic part. I have got a very specific dialogue direction that I want my character to take and I have to keep going against that based on the factor of what I'm allowed to actually pick. There are so many bugs in this it gets so damn annoying and I don't really know what it is that they're going to do with it. The main reason being is this does seem to only be on console. I have seen so many reports of people who are on PC and we posted up our last video on Reddit and it got some well, questionable responses from those PC players saying that I was just whining. Well, If you guys are playing this on a console like myself, you will know that there are a few issues to say the least. Obviously, I'm only so far through this game. I've been playing now for around seven hours, and I'd say maybe two hours of that has been trying to figure out how the hell I can keep getting through to the next part of the mission. So as we go through this game and as we progress through it, I am going to be giving you guys my overall response to this game as an overall. For me, the game is absolutely amazing, and I think that the actual consensus of what it is is just top notch. But the problem is, is we seem to be seeing this all too often in today's climate with gaming. Battlefield 2042 was exactly the same in my eyes. The concept of the game was tremendous, although it was just an absolute fail. For you console players out there, is this something you guys actually want to do? Is this something you want to purchase and move into? If you've not already got Dying Light 2 and you are on console, I would say maybe hold off a little bit. If you're not itching to get on and are happy to deal with these bugs, then I would hold off until Techland actually managed to get a workaround themselves and managed to patch these problems. The game is so immersive and it has sucked me right in and I cannot stop playing and I at the moment am just dealing with it because as me as a content creator it is my job to make sure I can bring you as much content from my end as possible and I intend on doing that no matter how much it takes. Although I'm hoping that we don't walk into many other bugs the only things that I'm seeing reports of right now is that heads seem to be floating around in places which is a little bit strange but we're going to keep our ear to the floor with it and hopefully not walk into any more problems and we can get you guys these tips tricks tutorials locations and all of these guides for the game that you guys should hopefully be able to enjoy once you get your copy or whilst you transverse through the copy you've got right now i am doing a few shorter videos at the moment and this is something that i'm not really liking just because these issues are so big at the moment and in dying light 2 this does cause for quite a lot of hassle and if we can do the workarounds or show you guys exactly what it is that's going wrong then hopefully it can help you guys avoid a lot of these problems as you go through your Dying Light 2 experience. The best part for me is that this game is nothing like Dying Light 1 and that is a ridiculous statement I guess as the game was such a success but it was just way too sporadic, way too jolty and it just wasn't for me. 
This game is so much more fluent. The parkour on it's amazing. The combat style is amazing. And these videos are by no means me complaining about the game whatsoever. This is just me bringing light to the problems that are there. The game is genuinely very, very good. And hopefully Techland managed to get the patch straight out so that they can get these bits fixed, which is why I'm generating these videos to begin with. Hopefully you guys do understand that and hopefully you continue to watch the Dying Light 2 content that we push out over the ongoing week or two. Fingers crossed that this all gets fixed very soon. And Techland, thank you very much for generating such an amazing game. Even though you had a day one patch that should have fixed most of the bugs, you've still missed quite a few things and you need to get back onto that mark and make sure that we push through, hopefully to the other side of Dying Light 2 being a big success. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Subscribe with post notifications turned on. I appreciate all of your faces. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds. Thank you.